I'm going to be changing the distributor cap and the and the leads. I've I've um, it's actually quite a devil to get to on this car. Um, it's it's easy at the moment because I've got all of the um, the thermostat housing out. But with the thermostat housing everything the way, it really is awkward. But um, so yeah, I've just used the, just use a long screwdriver. Let me just um, just pull this out. I've already I've already loosened that off camera, so doesn't look like it's been out in years to be honest it's all dirt and I will vacuum that in a minute but there's just something I wanted to show you the new leads um, oh here they are it's got a fantastic set of ultra heavy duty look at the difference look um, yeah these are about 6.57 millimeters they're 10 millimeters and current electrical currents a bit like water um, it it builds up pressure and there's a huge amount of current goes through these leads really enormous and the thicker the lead the easier that current will flow and obviously the thinner the lead the more difficult it will be for the current to flow so what i want to do is just select i'm going to test them for 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 for, for, for flow let's do on the long is that this is the longest one it just work back it is just just going to work back take the longest lead I'm going to test them all, but um, I'm not going to do it all on camera because this will take a long, you know, too long. Let me just, it's just, uh, I need to get the longest red one as well. Okay, right, here it is. There we go. Let's just get the multimeter. Take the multimeter and set that. What I'm going to do is measure the resistance across the um, across the terminals. Let's uh, select the longest one again. There it is. And I've pulled that out. That's the other side of it. So let's just um, just take one lead, shove it down here, and we'll see what it reads. How many ohms? Come on. It's not making a contact. Come on. There we go. Gosh, that's high. That's really high. Fifteen. I'm I'm losing connection because I'm fiddling with it here, but uh, roughly about fifteen ohms, give or take. Because I've got my finger on it, it's 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 going to distort the, uh, the reading slightly. But that is enormously high. There's a lot of resistance in those leads. Out of interest, let's just just chuck that down. Let's get the um, the red one. I'm, I'm expecting this one to be considerably lower reading. Let's just uh, because it's so much thicker, the current will flow far easier. Right, these are quite deep. So let me just push that in and. Uh, Let's have a look. Goodness me. 1.7 ohms. There's a huge, huge difference. That is truly colossal. There's virtually about as close to zero current resistance through this thick lead as it's almost possible to get. That is staggering. I, I honestly truly didn't expect it to be quite that low. Well, so what was the other one? It was around about 15 and this one was 1.7. So obviously the, the shorter leads will give a slightly, you know, the longer the lead, the more resistance. So that will be the highest reading. Let's just, out of interest, let's just find the shortest one. Here's the shortest one. We'll just try this one, just out of interest, see what, uh, see what reading we get on this. Because this will be lower, of course. Goodness me. I don't know if you can read that. Oh, come on. I need, I need more hands than I've got. <laughs> I need more hands. I'm struggling. Okay, there's one. Let's just zoom the camera in on that, um, on that meter and I will... Uh, this is the shorter lead. Literally just about 0.5 of an ohm. That is staggering. Well, that really is staggering. Go on, son, get your boot down. Bloody idiot. 
anyway never mind um but yeah i just wanted to sort of show that and um, what i'm also going to do let's get this out of the way um i need to it's, i'm starting to lose the light here so um what i'm also going to do is I, I need to vacuum inside the distributor cap before i dismantle it there we go just give this a quick uh the fans have dusted it. I'm just going to remove the rotor arm and that um, that uh, flash shield. So I've moved the flash shield. Let me just put, put my hand in and pull out the rotor arm. That's, doesn't look bad because I did actually clean this before you know before I drove the car when I first bought it. And I suspect there might be some dirt and debris in there. I don't want anything to get stuck inside this distributor. So let's just vacuum it. Right, and I've got a little tiny wire brush. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, it's awkward on camera, I need to, I'm just going to rub around the edge very, very carefully. But at the same time as rubbing it, I'll be, I'll be brushing it. And I won't be able to get that on camera because my body is going to get in the way. So I'll pause this again. So like I said to you, I've given that a good vacuum. Very, very, very careful rub with a, with a, copper, a copper brush around the edges. It's alloy and it does get sort of, you get aluminium oxide. I've got a new rotor arm here, which hopefully is a similar shape. Different colour, genuine Lucas part. But uh, that looks correct. Let's just push that on. I'm struggling to work with the camera in the way, if I'm truthful with you. Quite a tight fit. As a little, um, just as a little key there. I'm just trying to get that key to locate. There is a, um, if we zoom in, there is a little, uh, little cut in the metal key there. Right, that's that on. Put the flash shield back on. That's it, and I have a brand new, um, brand new cap as well. All, all genuine Lucas parts. There we go, and uh, that just uh, that just sc screws in. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to be copying the lead pattern. I'm going to do this once at a time. I'm going to um, I'm going to copy the lead pattern. Put the red leads, obviously. I know that. That one sits at the top here, so I'll just copy it and I'll put them one by one, the leads on, onto the spark plugs. I won't do that on camera because I am going to, my body will get in the way. It'll take me about 10 minutes. <laughs> 